Hi everyone, Brian Oker, Fat News. So today's video is going to be about Hillary Clinton and how she never lies. I don't even need to say anything. Here, take a look. Have you thought about what you're going to be wearing at the debates? You know, there's this thing called the double standard, and so I think about, well, what should the first woman nominee of one of our two major parties wear to the debate? And I have no idea. So if you've got suggestions, I'm open to them. Do you wonder what your opponent might be wearing? I mean, do you... I, I assume he'll wear, you know, that red power tie. Or maybe like a white power tie. That's even more appropriate. I know, it's silly. But all she was missing for the third debate was the hood. Hillary Clinton says... It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary... But then... Drug cartels, they are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heel. But then... Sorry, Hillary. I was running on CP time. It's not, I don't, I don't like jokes like that, Bill. That's not funny. Cautious politician time. <laughs> I, I've been there. Which to most people would be considered racist, but she's forgiven. I do apologize. I know I was a little late tonight. I was running on CPT. Which stands for jokes that white people should not make. <laughs> it's a tip for you, Jeff. <laughs> And forgiven again. Who do you like for president, sir? Uh, Hillary Clinton. But wait, let's hear more from this jack nut. I think whites are superior to African Americans and Latinos? Well, we are God's chosen people. And it is proven. And then Hillary calls out Trump on the third debate for dark money. <laughs> and then for womanizing. Or war, and then for war on women. But the one video that doesn't seem to be being picked up on very much is this one. The next, the next 40 days will determine the next 40 years. The next, the next 40 days will determine the next 40 years. 40 days for 40 years. She's never repeated that. It's not been 30 days. It's not been 15. I've never heard that said again. She's telegraphed her next move. Call me a conspiracy theorist right now. Call me crazy. Fine. At least you heard it. At least you said something. At least you called me an idiot. But at least you heard it. At least it went in somewhere. That for the next 40 years, Hillary Clinton 
or the Clintons will be in power. She's already telegraphed it and never repeated it. This is scary. This is Brian with Fat News. Subscribe, like, comment. If you call me an idiot, don't care. Just make sure you vote.